Man United had a good summer in terms of the signing we did make, but a terrible summer in the signings that we didn't make, and it left Ole Gunnar Solskjaer with a thin squad that has been exposed for large parts of this season. With the injuries added on top of it, it's left United threadbare. Now, in my opinion, Solskjaer will be United's manager until the end of the season, at least. So will the club back him in January? Will the club go out and try to sign the players that we failed to sign in the summer? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to run through in this video. If it does happen, the two key positions that I think United desperately need to strengthen. And I'm going to focus on the positions rather than the players, because I want to know from you in the comments what players exactly you would want to see United sign. Let's get into this one. Now, if United are only going to make one signing in January, it has to be a central attacking midfielder. Now, in a dream world, that might be James Madison or Bruno Fernandes. But as I said, I want you to let me know in the comments what central attacking midfielder that you would like to see United sign. Because for me, it's clearly the position where United are the weakest. Solskjaer has tried Andreas Pereira there. He's clearly not good enough. He's tried Juan Mata there. He's clearly passed it. Hell, he's even given Jesse Lingard a try there. He's just not good enough. It's that position which is creating a massive void for United that we haven't been able to overcome so far this season. Paul Pogba being out injured for three months or two months, however long it is, really hasn't helped. But maybe Pogba even coming back, if he's in the sort of wishy-washy form that he sometimes is in, he won't help it either. Although I actually think he will. It's clearly where United need to strengthen, for me. It's why teams find it so easy to sit in that low block. We haven't got that playmaker who can break the lines with his passes. To bridge midfield to the attack and find the through balls. We haven't had that play in our team so far this season. We've been too static, had two central midfielders, pass it sideways, across the edge of the box, fire a cross in. Occasionally a ball over the top, but largely nothing. It's made it harder for our attackers. It's made it almost impossible for our attack to have any sort of flow. And it's made it so easy for other teams to defend against us. Now, we all knew this in the summer. That's why everybody wanted Bruno Fernandes and it didn't happen. Lo and behold, he's having a great season at Sports in Lisbon. He signed a new contract. James Madison, he's playing brilliantly. We're linked with a swap deal for Matic and Eriksen. Hell, Eriksen would be an improvement because United don't have anybody in that position. So I want to know from you, who would you sign in that position if United did get that central attacking midfielder in January? And we absolutely have to. If we have any intentions of probably pushing for that top four, we need to make signings in January. Chelsea just had their transfer ban uplifted. They're going to spend big. Liverpool and City are already flying away. Spurs will be a better team under Mourinho towards the second half of the season, I think. United need to improve. And Leicester too. If our ambition really is to get in top four and we don't sign anybody in January, then that's bullshit because that isn't our ambition. United need to spend because we failed in the summer. And for me, central attacking midfield is the key area that that needs to happen. And I think the other clear weakness in this squad is abundantly obvious. And that's up front in the striker position. Marcus Rashford, he played there for large parts of this year when Anthony Martial was out injured. And after Lukaku left and Sanchez left, Solskjaer had very few options. I still stand by the idea that selling those two was the right thing to do, but United left it so late we didn't sign a replacement, and that was clearly the wrong thing to do. Rashford struggled at centre forward and has only come into his own when he's gone back to his more natural position on the left wing. Anthony Martial, when he's fit and on form, is great, but United can't rely on him. Mason Greenwood has only just about turned 18. We can't rely on him. We need a new striker. Who would that striker be? Erling Haaland, who's absolutely smashing it. Timo Werner, also smashing it. Somebody else. Let me know what striker you would like to see United go after. But it's clear that after selling Lukaku and loaning Sanchez and seeing Rashford so far this season in the centre forward role, he's not suitable for it. Martial can't be relied upon for a full season because of his injury record. And we've sold the other two players. And Greenwood's only 18 coming through. It's the clear weakness in attack. Obviously, we still need someone on the right wing. You can't sign everybody you need in January. But if we're going to make two signings, which I don't think is outside the realms of possibility, and it shouldn't be for a club of United's size and wealth, then central attacking midfield 
and striker are those two positions. Imagine how much different this United team could look in the second half of the season if we sign somebody like, I don't know, Christian Eriksen on loan and we got Haaland in. All of a sudden, we'd have a proper team. It's just those two positions are clearly the weakest for United at the moment and have been all season long. Pogba coming back in, that will make a big difference. But regardless of, I think personally, United need to prepare for life after Pogba because he's going to be leaving in the summer. So I wouldn't have him down in any sort of long-term plan. He may improve us towards the second half of the season, but it wouldn't stop me going out and getting a new central attacking midfielder. Solskjaer, Gary Neville said, I know some of you don't like Gary Neville anymore. Some of the points he makes, question marks. But the point he made about the fact that Solskjaer has to be selfish and ruthless in January, I do agree with. He has to go to the board and properly demand signings. Solskjaer can't just be a yes man for the Glazers. And I don't think he is. I think he's got United's proper intentions at heart. But he's also got to be the boss. And he has to make it clear that these signings are absolutely crucial for United going into the second half of the season. And we've struggled so much this year, yet we're sixth. And top four is well within reach. But because I know Chelsea will improve in January, and because I know Spurs will continue to get better, we can't not sign players in January if we really do want that top four spot. So let me know what striker you would like to see United go after in January. Because one thing's for sure, if Rashford got an injury right now, United would be absolutely screwed. And going into the derby, we need Rashford on top form. And speaking about the derby, there's a video over on the 888 Sport YouTube channel that I want you to take a quick look at. David De Gea is totally and utterly past it in the modern era. He's a bygone relic of an era that's been left behind. And people like Edison, Alisson, Ter Stegen, Manuel Neuer are absolutely, unequivocally, a thousand percent better for this game of football today. De Gea's finished. I mean, you've got to love City fans trying to be experts on football considering they didn't know it existed until 2008. But I think they should focus on their own problems and Baldy calling it an injury crisis when they've only got two or three players out. And the fact that Liverpool are running away with the league and City are failing. De Gea is still one of the best goalkeepers in world football. The only reason that it's so obvious right now that he's dipped in form is because his form was so sensational and consistent that it's abundantly obvious he's not at that level. But I'd still take De Gea. I love De Gea, one of the best shot stoppers in the world. Yes, he's not as good as Edison or Allison in terms of playing out from the back with the ball, but fuck it, I love De Gea. Keep me in my team all day long. Now, can you follow the link in the description? Head over to that video and like my comment because you can't get City fans getting away with saying absolute bollocks like that. It's not a case of wanting players in January. United need new signings in January. And I think we need a central attacker midfielder and a striker. Chelsea are going to sign big. All the other teams around us are strong as well. If United really have any ambitions at that top four, we need reinforcements in January. Now let me know in the comments what positions you would like to strengthen and in those positions what players you'd like to sign. Make sure you sub if you're new as well. Until next time though, take it easy.